you can see it. Look at that. Wow. Yo, 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 yo. That's just amazing. most beautiful pose and position and place just hiding in the bend of that dead tree there Chris, how's it going? I don't have root update, Solid's just left. Um, those mom Pimpon Ingways have moved probably about 60 to 100 meters up Batalier Road uh, onto a Shadula just on the left hand side as you're driving up. And uh, I'm just leaving a little blueberry branch in the road there. Yeah, Chris, I saw when we glimpsed them, I saw both, but uh, now just one. Um, if you on the sort of western side of the Shadula, there's a pushed over old knobthorn um, hiding in, in that. But there's also a, a hole into that Shadula, so yeah, that should be both of them. That's cool, man. That's great. Thanks, man. See the way they're moving. I think Mike definitely left the area. Just the, the, the sort of carefulness, the way they're very slowly moving, they don't want to give their, themselves or their position away. It all tells me that mum has left me, it's a safe place. You heard me telling Chris then now, I can see a bit of a hole into the termite mine, it'll be difficult to show you, but you see the way the termite mine is shaped, there's uh, definitely something in there for them to hide in as well, as well as this dead log, this little guy sitting behind at the moment, so all's good. Mum has looked after them well for the last eight months when they were even smaller than they are now and more helpless. Find you until mum comes and get them. She takes them somewhere else. Oh, it's just so beautiful, these little guys. I mean, you must realize that to see leopard like this, to see young leopard like this, where they're so relaxed, so habituated to us that you can see the natural behavior, that is something that is very special. It's unique to a few areas in Africa only. Just like that, that's how leopard disappears. It just sits down behind something in something, a bit of grass, a few leaves and it's gone. So it's been something I remember for a long time, the, the intimacy of the time we shared here with him just now is something that's very, very special. Wasn't that just amazing to be able to sit and see something like that? It's just, I, I can't get over it. No matter how long you do this, how many times you see something so special, to be able to do it again is just, it's just amazing. We're going to move on and uh, hopefully they'll stick around and they might be here for a day or so. Often they'll, they'll sort of will stay in the area if they've got a good hiding place, stay there for a day or so until mum comes and gets them again. And then I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw both here but like I said it was a glimpse and then by the time again I just saw one. So I can't confirm that there's two but I, I thought so. Okay, cool man. Sorry, I took the other. It says battery, right? Yeah, that's it.
Batalier and uh, like I said, I'm not 100% sure they're two, but I think they were. Yeah, that's cool. Thanks, Peter. Beautiful Kudu Kaoya. Moving straight towards where those leopards were. Those cubs won't really do anything towards his kudu. In fact, they'll be very wary of this kudu. These are much bigger than those cubs at the moment, probably weigh about four or five kilograms. This kudu will weigh 150, 180 kilograms. It's an interesting <coughs> bit of radio news there just now. As you heard me say when I was talking to Chris there again, I really thought I saw both cubs when we pulled in there. Very difficult because it was that thick stuff, but I really thought so. Could be wrong because by the time I had a proper look, it was just the one. But someone else is now a bit further from here, but quite a good, good bit further, probably about two kilometers. I've seen another young leopard, not where we can go, it's right on the boundary area. But it means that there might be another cub around, or maybe that the cubs have split up, and I just thought I saw two. 